death is our trade, and pillage is our plunder. Intel Ops of the Human Sphere can deploy agents that are so precise as to be a surgical laser. Yuan Yuan don't have laser precision. They don't have baseball bat precision. They barely have the precision of the bomb lance. They're pirates, scrappers, and a bunch of real assholes. Today on Warlore, we're looking at the Yuan Yuan. Space is unforgiving. The Yu Jing system is a nexus of human activity, but this was not always the case. During the Star Tide, many human populations emigrated en masse to new frontiers like the planets Shantong and Yutong. Some explorers and spacefarers tried to make a life in the asteroid belts of the Yu Jing system. They lived a life where only the most brutal and vicious could survive by killing their neighbors and taking the supplies necessary for survival. Over time, these renegades self-organized into free roaming groups of bandits, known as Yuan Yuan. They were helped by an unlikely ally. The initial stage of the neo-colonial wars was a time of experimentation and harsh lessons. One of those experiments was Pan-Oceania's attempt to support and train the outlaws as a rebel force, in order to harry state empire forces. This was a mistake. After the first phase of the war concluded, the Yuan Yuan spread across the human sphere, hitching rides on circulars and acquiring their own jump-capable starships. They now infest many systems throughout human space. Yuan Yuan have a particularly bloodthirsty reputation. They are hell-bent on plunder and looting, and never show mercy on non-combatants. That which they cannot steal, they eagerly destroy. Bandit culture is cruel and unforgiving, but the Yuan Yuan do form into larger gangs that have their own loyalties. Always merciless, a pirate that has seen a friend harmed can become capable of berserk aggression. They are less an organized criminal conspiracy and more a way of life. None can travel faster! When they aren't killing for fun or plundering, Yuan Yuan do deal in scrap. After all, their craft are stolen, derelict, or patched so many times that they scarcely resemble the original form. Their mercenary work remains steady, and warfare requires a modern arsenal. Yuan Yuan are particularly despised for their frequent use of slaves, especially eunuchs. Eunuch, in the modern sense, refers to those who, for biological reasons, cannot use cubes to record their memories and personalities. These slaves are not ransomed back, but instead kept for life, forced into line by drugs and violence. In short, Yuan Yuan are brutal pirate scrap dealers without a country that offer themselves as mercenaries. Yuan Yuan are present in Kapukalki and Ikari Company. The Kapukalki Armada is the military arm of the highly corrupt Funduk Sultanate, a region of Hak Islam. QK exists to protect space stations and transport, as well as do the bidding of the Sultanate. Even for Hak Islamite Corsairs, Yuan Yuan are execrable. At best, they might appear as expendable spearheads for a Kapukalki assault. They are commonly seen in the armies of the mercenary Ikari Company, hiring them as a calculated risk, as they are known to steal anything not nailed down. However, Ikari Company's brutal behavior makes them natural bedfellows with the pirates. Yuan Yuan are experienced in space combat, which operates in close quarters and often in freefall. When assigned operations on the ground, they prefer to use their own ramshackle aircraft to get them to the battlefield, jumping off and then using their air brake jump packs and equipment to get them down. Did you like that clip? That's from a video game called Apex Legends. I occasionally stream it on Twitch, and I've got a link below to my Twitch page. Streaming is easier than making videos on more game lore though, but making videos is more rewarding. You can help stimulate my reward-obsessed brain by leaving me a comment and either a like or a dislike. Maybe share this in any infinity social media groups that you frequent. Anyway, back to the vid. Their expertise in fighting in both space and ground means that they are occasionally recruited on the war market for high-risk jobs. Both Pan-Oceania and Yujing Intel will leak the other's juicy targets. At times, they are directly supported by the Shengren that is, the External Assets Division of the Yanjing Secret Police. The Yanjing work for the Communist Party of Yujing. I'm sure that the Emperor would never approve of such brutal, deplorable methods. Yuan Yuan utilize cheap and common firearms, like the Yunggang Jing Type 9 boarding shotguns or rifles. For close combat, they favor particularly lethal weapons like the Gush Blade, which uses serrated blades and caustic gas projectors. When using more common swords and knives, they often apply SHVYY, also known as SHIV, 
It's a potent brew that comes in cheap aerosol spray cans and is applied to melee weapons. It makes their blades particularly lethal to unarmored enemies like non-combatants. It's also dangerous to apply and inhale, which is why you should always use protection whenever you're priming miniatures. The name Yuan Yuan comes from the Chinese word for round, specifically used to refer to the round shape of a coin. It's appropriate for people obsessed with money and physical goods. Space is a brutal place. Water, fuel, and oxygen are all precious commodities. Once the Yuan Yuan got their hands on more impressive spacecraft, though, they graduated from bandits to true pirates. Yuan Yuan are fun little models. These two are really classic, and I would love to get my hands on them. I love the color schemes on both of these. They're classic early 2nd edition Infinity miniatures. Despite only being playable in Kapu Kalki and Akari Company, we've got quite a few Yuan Yuan models available. In addition to the two normal ones, Operation Red Veil came with an exclusive Yuan Yuan model with a boarding shotgun. I like that he's got the Pano model probably looted from some poor Akali. Battle Foam even released a special Yuan Yuan miniature. I'm not sure how you got it, but it probably involved buying Battle Foam. Last but not least, there is no Yuan Yuan more dangerous than the fat Yuan Yuan. The model originated as a joke on the old Infinity forums. People joked about giving him explosive airborne deployment just like the Cascuda. The idea of a space pirate dropping from the sky, cracking the earth, and raining death while enjoying ramen stuck with Corvus Belly, and eventually they released not one, but several fat Yuan Yuan models in the spirit of the joke. He even got the Christmas release, that's him on a motorcycle, and a Luxumbra bust. Wow, that guy gets around. He's even in the Defiance board game. Because Yuan Yuan have booty, you never know quite what you're going to get. Maybe they've got higher armor, maybe they've got a heavy machine gun, who can say? Because they're so cheap though, they're just fun to bring. Having an 8 point model show up in your opponent's deployment zone is hard to resist. In previous editions of Infinity, Yuan Yuan had a unique version of airborne deployment. Not only do they have to try and jump from their aircraft, they did it at reduced pH. Although the rules are changed, they still drop at a pH of 11. Yuan Yuan aren't used in many armies, but they really fit the role of heartless space pirates. They're scary, a little humorous, and ramshackle. They make great fill-ins in any Infinity RPG session. Thanks again for watching Warlore. In the future, I'd like to alternate between concepts like Aleph and units like the Yuan Yuan, which are a little bit faster and easier to do. These videos are all way more work than they should be, so it would mean a lot to me if you liked and subscribed. This particular video was a viewer request, and if you'd like to hear something, please leave a comment down below. Until next time, have a good one, enjoy your spring, and be safe.